grapefruit. Remember I told you I keep grapefruit on me? Remember back in the day when grapefruit was yellow on the inside? Now it's pink that they sell as a normal. But grapefruit back in the day was not sweet. And this was not too long ago. I want to say 2000. Because I've been eating grapefruit like an orange for years. Yeah, back in 2000, I had a crib with my wife, one child. I had an apple tree that I would sit under every morning and watch the uh, sun come up and eat my grapefruit every single morning. Yeah, and back then the grapefruit was yellow and it was not sweet. I mean, I'm not complaining. I like the sweet grapefruit. Back in the day, early, uh, late 90s, 98, 99, and probably before then, of course, when we wanted to look up a Bible verse, we didn't have Google. If you're a Bible reader, you would search deep down in your memory and, and figure out where you read that verse when we're trying to look for it. And no, you know what? We, we would find that verse that we were looking for. Now we just use Google. And in this case, I wanted to bring a Bible verse, but I can't find it, even on Google. Because then Google changes things. I remember Google used to be nice. <clears throat> back in when it like early millennium they gave you good search results now they just give you popular search results and I'm not I've never been that person I've always I'm a b-side type of guy you know what b-sides is if you get a record you play the side a and then you play side b I've always been the person that liked the songs on the B side. Anyway, the verse I wanted to bring and I can't find it on Google. I wanna say it's in Proverbs, but I don't know, I doubt it. It goes like this. Eat whatever is allotted to you. That means don't overeat. I have a cheat code on how not to overeat. Wait 15 minutes after your first helping. And you know good and well, I'm talking to myself. I'm 300 pounds. You know good and well, you ain't supposed to put that much on your plate. If you eat the correct portion, like the Bible say, eat what is allotted, you will be full, especially if you wait 15 minutes and drink your water before or after your meal. It works. I've been doing this for a week. I'll eat what is allotted to me, my little portion. Wait 15 minutes. If you're still hungry 15 minutes later, Feel free to eat again. I heard this a long time ago on YouTube, probably a few years ago, but I'm just now putting it into practice. Everything is practice. 21 days to build a good habit, to build a new habit. 21 days, man. So, yeah, I've been doing this for a week. Let me tell you, I'm liking the results. I don't feel as bloated. I feel like I can do things now. How in the world did we get around back in the 90s without Google and the cell phone? How did we go see them ladies on the other side of town 
without picking up a phone to say, now where you at now? Where do I turn at? You say you up here? How did we do that? How did we get around without a cell phone? We just pull up, knock on the door. How did we do that? We reach deep down in our memory. I don't know, it's a, it's a superpower that we've lost. Because I can't figure out how we did that. If I had a job interview. You know, stuff like that. I remember me and my dad found a spot. I look in the white pages and look for a place uh, that sells studio equipment. It was way on the opposite side of town and me and my dad pulled up. <laughs> this is before Google. How in the world did we do that? Shoot. I really can't picture how we did it. It's a lost superpower. I remember I broke down. I think I had a flat tire or something. And I called my boy. I said, yo, come scoop me. I'm way over here, blah, blah, blah. He was there so quick. No cell phone, no Google, <laughs> but I was able to depend on homie. Can we get that superpower back? Man. Even music was better back then. We have lost something as a as a race of humans. And I want it back. I declare that I want this back. That is a superpower that was beautiful. Now they say you're supposed to eat. They say you're supposed to eat only the size of your fist. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but uh, maybe I'll give it a shot one day. The size of my fist. I eat like, shoot, 10 size of my fist. Nah, not that much. What will it take to gain that superpower back? To gain that superpower back, it would be impossible because we would have to live off the grid. No computers. That's how you gain it back and it'll naturally come back. And that ain't finna happen. So since we're losing superpowers, just imagine in the future. So is this evolution? Seems like a backwards evolution. It's like we're evolving. Well, life has trade-offs. And I guess we're trading our superpower for technology. So I guess we are evolving. <laughs> I don't know. But you just get what I'm trying to say. I don't like that trade-off. Or do I? Cause I like technology, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, man, 15 minutes after you eat, you shouldn't be hungry no more. I challenged, I challenged that notion, challenged that notion and it worked. Yeah. I gotta go, I'll let you.